Ooh, we have a class on. archetypal four stroke now of course 90 horsepower so if it's been tilted up it's like a car engine as if it's a car engine that's the top of the engine the sump would have been on the bottom of there normally I well, take the sump off and put it underneath so it's been tilted let it hang down let the oil settle down on the bottom for a bit but as we all do with our cars regularly <laughs> check the oil you've got your dipstick there same oh, as a car. Like flashing red lights for the table. <laughs> so, worthwhile, I say, worthwhile checking it once in a while. Every time you use it. <laughs> if you need to top up with oil, fill it up the top there. You know, they still there. run on, even though they're full stroke, they still run on, is it just plain on leaded, isn't it? It's straight forward and on leaded. Even, even the old two strokes, every American engine, um, the inboards. Uh, we designed to run on leaded from the 1970s, uh, but with two strokes you mix in all, so the lubricant in there is no problem. Other things to look out for, so worth checking your fuel system. So that's your fuel line there, make sure there's no nicks in it. If someone gives you a hose with your portable tank, so if someone gives you a tank and a hose separately, be careful, some manufacturers use the same connections, the bayonet fittings on right, both ends. Your primer bulb there, 90% of them should have an error. That's the fuel flow to the engine. So if you set it up like that, you shouldn't have a problem. It's, it's easier because some of the old ones don't have it and you get them the wrong yeah. way and it's sending it. That's it. So you've got water separating, filter down there, worthwhile having even on yours. This one takes out the water, big amounts of fuel. It's got a glass bowl at the bottom so you can see if any water's in there. If you've got the spin off ones that look like oil filters, those ones need changing certainly yearly for every time you have your service just in case you get it stops any water that you might have got in the tank from getting through. Most outboards have got a filter on the back end as well on the engine, a little translucent filter. So worthwhile check that. You can just see through it, so if there's any rubbish in there, lots of water and stuff like that, you will see. So we'll see if anything gets through. If you do, it's worthwhile changing it. That's about it, being all these engines are now computer controlled, there's not a lot you can do to check through and turn in yeah, without plugging in on the computer. All you want to do, make sure nothing's leaked into the bottom of the tray, there's no drips, no oil, no water's got in. Make sure all your connections are on there, all nice and solid, all your electrics, are, electrics there. Like I say, check the fuel lines. This is hydraulic steering, so you want to make sure it's not kinked. We can do if you want a bit of maintenance. You've got grease points there, that does the tilt. A couple on the pivot shaft for the steering, so worthwhile just keeping them greased up. Same with your connections, just the sliding, worthwhile put the grease on there, keep it moving. Also, say so this hydraulic steering, you might need to top up more. If you've got the cable steering, yeah, cable. through there, you've got yes. the rod comes out, connects to that. Worth what keeping. Seasons is out in yeah. the window. We, well, I found it out the other day when I went yeah. to check it. So I took it apart and greased it all out. Yeah, and keep, it, keep it, it greased yeah. up. They do seize up very, very quickly. Right. Yeah, I found it out the harbour. <laughs> if you need to, <laughs> once a year worthwhile putting the prop off. Do it, so pull the prop off and make sure the prop shaft's greased up. That way the prop yeah. won't seize on there as well. Uh, make sure it's bolted on. All nice and safe. Check your bolts. Be careful. If you've got thumb screws on yours. No, yeah. it's uh, bolted by that. Right. If you get on ones, the little ones with tillers and thumb screws, just keep an eye on thumb screws. Technically, it's say unleaded, goes off in starts going off in 13 days. Nowadays, it's their problem with four strokes, it's the detergents in the fuel that causes the problem. The fuel evaporates, come bring on the fresh though, put it in there, all the rubbish gets so spread about, blocks up all the fuel lines, it causes fuel problems. The easiest thing to do if you're going to leave a petrol engine, certainly an outboard, if you can, I like this, if you've got on yours the bay in it, yeah. run it up out of the water, flush, flush it through five, ten minutes, pull the fuel line off, run the fuel out, you're not going to get any problems.